Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. So, we're almost at the end of the Yu-Gi-Oh! campaign, but today we'll be doing a duel with darts. After that, we only have one more duel left, so let's get going. After defeating Raphael, Yugi finally met darts face to face. Darts! You're expecting someone else? Well, due to the carelessness of my employees, I'm the only one left. You can't find good help these days. Look, I want my company back, so can the small talk. Is that so? Well, guess what? We all want something. As for me, I want your souls. For the last time, release our friends. That's not possible. What do you mean? I mean, they've already been put to use. As we speak, their life energy supplies power to the most devastating creature that ever lived. Oh, great. Now what? My 10,000 year old collection is almost complete. Once I get yours, my beast can rise. Hold on. You've been collecting souls for all those years? Do you know how many lives you may have destroyed? Haha, <laughs> millions. So some of these people lived in the past? Now you're catching on. Ever since the great Leviathan was laid to rest, I've been gathering the energy necessary to fuel its rebirth. Come on, you expect us to believe that junk? Ye of little faith, just duel me and I promise I'll make a believer out of you. For when you lose, there will be no denying my power. So, here we go. In the anime, this was a deck, or a, not a deck, a duel um, with Yugi and Kaiba versus Dart, in which Kaiba loses and loses his soul, and then you know Yugi finishes it off with uh, something that sounds like bullshit. So what? Do we have Graceful Charity? Let's use that because I do kind of want something on the field. Mm. Let's see. Pay 2000 life points, tribute one warrior type monster, banish up to three legendary dragon spell cards with different names from your hand and our graveyard. If you do a special summon that many legendary knight monsters with different names from your hand, deck, and our graveyard. Banish up to three with different names. So if I send the Eye of Tamias and the Claw of Hermos, would that mean that... Oh, I do need a warrior type monster, of course. Um, well... Gamma the Magnet Warrior will have to do. Ah, the seal of Orichalcos, of course, supply squad. Your opponent has declared battle. It's really absolute. Oh no, it. I want to say it's ridiculous. That's a level four monster, but. Uh, of course, it gets 500 points because of um, Seal of Orichalcos. So, what should I do? Should have had this card uh, earlier because Mirror Force Dragon sounds absolutely overpowered. Now, I assume I have that card. Let's see. So, we have Tamias, the Knight of Destiny. By sending the above card, you control to the graveyard. Okay. Unaffected by other cards' effect. Once per battle, if this card battles during damage calculation, in your blaze turn, you can make this card. Attack and defense become equal to the attack of the monster on the field with the highest attack. Hmm. 
Okay, that's uh, that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, uh... oh no, wait, uh, hold up. What was the from your hand and or graveyard? Okay, cool. So once I get a warrior type monster, I should be able to uh, summon the three legendary knights. But yeah, basically how Yugi wins duel this this. You know, Dart eventually manages to summon the Leviathan, which has infinite attack points or something. And then... I don't know, Yugi summons, I believe, that legendary knight or something, which then, through its effect, also gets infinite attack points. And then it uses some trick. It's, I'm pretty sure it's bullshit. Um, you know, anime rules. Um... Which basically uh, gives it more than infinite attack points somehow. And um, what was the point of that? Oh. But yeah, somehow he gets more than infinite attack points and, you know, that's it. Okay. Um, normal monster you control is destroyed by battle. You can special summon this card from this card. Gains a thousand attack points. Each monster your opponent controls. Fate of level four monsters on the field cannot be destroyed by card effects. Okay, so I can simply destroy him. Also, coincidence, um, I played Persona 5 15 minutes ago and ran into uh, a shadow that actually looks like this. But of course it's based on, well, I don't know what you call it, there's also a Digimon that looks like it. Probably something in Japanese that I don't know about. So, uh, but I was looking at what we had in here, so we have the Time Magic Hammer, the Rocket's Hermos Cannon, the Red Eyes Black Dragon Sword, Mirror Force Dragon. Uh, I really missed that one. Um, Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight, and Amulet Dragon. Yeah, it would be great if we could get another Eye of Tobias. Oh. Oh. I thought for a moment that he was going to attack my uh, my summoned skull. Legendary Knight Hermos. Well, that's not going to be useful right now. Um, well, I guess I'm stuck. Can't really do anything. If he summons a monster, he's going to just... Oh. Or if he uses that, he's going to destroy my summoned skull. Uh, I need to read that. Oh, I guess I need to read that card effect. Also, I need a warrior type monster. Beta the Magnet Warrior is not a warrior. It's a rock type. I always get like swarmed with King's Knight and Queen's Knight and things like that. It's, uh card to treat as normal monster was face upon the field or in the graveyard. Well this card is normal monster in the field you can normal summon it to have it become an effect monster with this effect. Once while this card is on the f face upon the field you can place one spell counter on it. This card gains 300 attack for each spell counter on it. You can remove one spell counter from this card and target no. Uh pretty useful. Okay. Really, I need a warrior type. And fast, because otherwise I won't have 2,000 life points to... Oh, uh, yeah. I, uh, I think I lost. Ugh. 
bullshit. Set up Hoxie Scout the Guardian. Card. To protect her life points. Yeah, that would be great if I had that card. You know, drawn. Okay. But I also am not sure if I actually have a better... Um, if I have a better deck to face against these, uh, this guy. Because this, this deck Yugi uses is actually uh, it's pretty good. Well, there's Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. That is interesting. Not useful right now, but interesting. Fang of Critias. Uh, how many cards do I have? That work with him. Only Mirror Force Dragon. Alright, let's set Big Shield Guard now. And now I'm really wanting him to play uh, Shield Orichalcos. Oh. I should have used Karibo at that point. Oh well. Um. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, and activate. Multiply. Tribute Karibo. Don't know if I've ever used Multiply. Anyway, this keeps my life points safe for at least one turn. <laughs> Jama Trio? What the hell? Probably has some kind of effect that I'm not going to like. Okay, well, it's better than a direct attack, I guess. There's also nothing I can do. I mean, this will result in me taking 900 damage, so it's, it's acceptable. I set bait on a Magnet Warrior. It is going to get destroyed. Most likely it will be using this guy on Bait on a Magnet Warrior. Uh, so I'll take 3600 damage, which would be not be enough. Or would be. Uh, wouldn't have the 2,000 life points to actually use this card, but if I draw Mirror Force, I might stand a chance. Now, of course, if he plays the seals, uh, seals, <laughs> seal of Oricalcos, uh, well, I think I still survive. But really, I need to draw Mirror Force at this point. Ah, there's the seal of Orichalcos. Oh, yeah, I, I lost. <laughs> Man, and this was what I was waiting for, because right now, uh, my obnoxious Celtic Guard can't be destroyed. Because all their life po or uh, all their attack points are really high. I think that there's definitely... Um, I'm going to keep trying the story deck because... 
Okay, I'm going to try two more times, and if that doesn't work, I'll just... I don't know, go for the cheating Exodia deck. Or something. Okay, so we have the Fang of Critias. The Shadow Delver do. At the moment, nothing. Um, let's activate Graceful Charity. So, we have the Legendary Knight to Maius. Let's get rid of Big Shield Gardner. And a Gamma the Magnet Warrior. I was tempted to get rid of the Fang of Critias. Because it doesn't really matter where uh, this card is for using uh, Legend of Heart. Oh, no. It's going to be strong enough. Uh, yes. Activate Karibo. Okay, you better get me something good. Dark Magician Girl. Um, well, I think I've lost. Carry in the magnet or <sighs> Okay, you know this this deck has a potential to be good, but it really It's yeah, uh, it's it's really hard to get it going, I guess. Well, that's a good start. Um, Seal of Arikalkos. Good. Shadow Delver. There's a Dark Magician Girl. Okay, so... What do I get rid of? Let's get rid of a Dark Magician Girl and of an alpha, the Magnet Warrior. Discard your hand, activate the effect of cards. Yes, let's activate Mystical Space Typhoon. We don't know what those cards are, but I don't trust them. Call of the Haunted, okay, good choice. Um, to th oh, from the Seal of Orichalcos. Okay, um, let's activate the Fang of Critias. Summon Mirror Force Dragon. Now, if I'm correct about this card, it's really OP. Uh, when a monster you control is targeted for an attack or by an opponent's card effect. Except during the damage step, you can destroy all cards your opponent controls. That is pretty useful. Um... Let's also summon Gamma the Magnet Warrior. I mean, if he attacks Gamma the Magnet Warrior, um, I can destroy everything. But he's not going to. Smart move, AI. Smart move. Okay, let's summon Dark Magician Girl. I have a good feeling about um, about this jewel. 
I say right before he draws something that completely completely annihilates me. Or maybe not. Um, okay. Let's use the Eye of Tamias. Summon Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight, or whatever the name is. Dragon Warrior. Dragon Knight. Activate the effect of a card. Yes, I don't know what this is, but uh, let's see. Must be fusion summoned, blah, 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 blah. blah. Once per turn during either player's turn, you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard and target one face of the card on the field. Destroy that target. Um, I would love to, but... I mean, Seal of Orichalcos is going to survive that. So, let's just attack. Okay, so now he has a hundred life points to play with. <laughs> Let's see what he's going to do about uh, his current situation. And also, watch when I play as darts. Yugi summon like three of these things in one turn. Venom Cobra. Oh. I thought it would have some kind of fancy effect, but apparently it's just a 2000 defense monster. Ah, oh, finally, victory. You lose darts. Your 10,000 year quest is finally over. It can't be. I've come too close. All I need is one more powerful soul and the great Leviathan will arise from the depths of the earth. Too little, too late. Our jewel comes to an end. Now release the souls of my friends and everyone else you held captive. Her. Dart failed to capture Yami Yugi's soul, but Dart merged his own soul with his Leviathan to revive the beast instead. Powered by the light of his friends, Yugi retrieved his stolen Egyptian god cards and defeated Dart and his Leviathan once and for all. Huh, look. I guess the gods did pull through. Told ya, that means everyone Dart captured is free. Is it really all over? Yep, we're safe now. Let's hit the high road, folks. I'm sure there's someone else trying to take over the world back home. You know, the scary thing is, he's probably right. Yeah, they uh, have pretty bad luck. Okay. Okay, didn't get really that special. <laughs> that many special cards. Oh well. Um, let's try this again. And hopefully this time Yugi has a tough time starting. But we'll see. <clears throat> All the Shadow Delver, Alexandrite Dragon, Adam Cobra. Oh my god. Oh, he's only summoning one. Which still is bad news, but you know, I, I knew it. I mean, have I ever gotten, like, a warrior... Yeah, Obnoxious Skeleton Guardian, I guess. Um, must be special. Uh, yeah, I don't really see a way of destroying him.
Okay, well, that's not really helping me at this point. Let's set Venom Cobra. I really have no idea how to turn this around. My... Oh, crap. Well, too late now. That was dumb. I for a moment forgot that uh, Call of the Haunted summons monsters in uh, in attack mode. I mean, I might as well surrender right now. Yeah, I should surrender. I mean, there's... Just have to see what I draw, but... Uh, yeah, I'll surrender. Otherwise, it's only delaying the inevitable. Well, let's hope for a better start. Now, there's a good chance those are Mirror Force cards. Because I assume Yugi has like three of them. Safe zone again. Access card by targeting one face of attack precision monster in the field. That face of monster cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effect. Or be destroyed by battle. Cannot attack your opponent directly when this card leaves the field. Destroy the monster when that monster leaves the field. Destroy this card. Interesting. Interesting choice. Um, A normal monster you control is destroyed by battle, you can special summon this card from your hand. This card gains a thousand attack for each monster you can, your opponent controls. Face up level 4 normal monsters on the field cannot be destroyed by card effects. <clears throat> okay. That doesn't seem particularly particularly useful unless I equip him with uh, the mage power um, cards which I should pro yeah I think it might just work activate the effect of a card uh, no. Okay, so he's not going to attack. Destroyed by battle. Hmm. Level 4 normal monster. In that case, let's change him to defense position. Summon Shadow Delver. Then... Attack him. Alright, that's kind of what I expected to happen. Dark Valkyria, okay. Your 
opponent succeeded in normal summoning a monster, activate the effect of a card. No. Is he going to attack? That's the question. It looks like it. Uh, no. 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 What? Did I miss the timing? I think I might. Activate the effect of a card, yeah. Although it's not an... <sighs> yeah, I think I might have missed it. I should have probably activated it as a response to Heart of the Underdog. I don't know. Ah, crap, he's coming too. Activate the effect of a card. Yes, no. Let's see. Can I summon him? No, I can't. Okay. Let's try that again. See, he... Yugi is so easy this time. I'm still not convinced the AI plays entirely fair. Because the amount of times that... You know, I simply can't get a deck going Legendary Knight Hermos Well uh, That might be it Again, there's nothing I can do against this guy. Okay, let's activate his effect in attack position. <sighs> okay, let's activate mage power. Oh, that's actually enough. Unfortunately, Yugi is going to have Mirror Force over there, so... Hold up, what's his effect? Once per turn, when this card is targeted for an attack, you can target one effect monster in your graveyard until the end phase of your next turn. This card's name becomes that targets. Replace this effect with the target's original effects. Okay, so what does he have? Nothing. Big Shield card now. Uh, okay. Ah, I knew it. Well, it's over. Yes, let's activate Heart of the Underdog. I need as many cards as I can get. Of our calculus. Um, I guess I'll summon Gene Warp Wolf or War Wolf. Really, I need another equip magic. Oh, God. I need another equip magic card. I need something to boost these monsters.
Uh, yeah. This is not going to work. Activate the effect of cards. Uh, yes. Yes, I probably should. I mean, he's not going to survive, but... Oh. Now, of course, that's not a Mirror Force card, so... You know... That's not good. Now, I hope he's going to make the mistake... Ah, oh, crap, should have set that up. ...of summoning another... I made a big mistake. If I had set this card, I could have summoned more cards on his field, boosting my... Um, ...Shunero's power. My 3,000 points. Alright, let's try one more time. This is pissing me off. Let's go first for a change. Uh, not ideal. Oh, these are two powerful cards. Um, at least I have Dark Hole. So if he manages to summon his knights, at the very least I can just nuke them all. Noxious guilt. Damn it. And that's obviously a Mirror Force card, so... Let's summon Shadow Delver. Mm. This is one of the situations where I'm like... Should I attack him? In hopes that this isn't a Mirror Force card, so I can do more damage. Or should I switch this guy to Defense Mode? Destroy... Well, don't destroy Obnoxious Celtic card, actually. Because Mirror Force. Uh, and then lose this guy anyway, but... Huh. Well, I'll, I'll be able to get him back. Oh yeah, that's right. I'll be able to get him back. Well, huh. I, I'm going to risk it. It's it's a dumb move. Yep. So let's get Shadow Delver back. Now, let's see what Yugi is going to do. Cry Havoc. You can remove from play one monster from your graveyard to normal summon or set one normal monster from your hand. Okay. That's actually an interesting effect. Summon Alexandrite Dragon. Now there is a good chance this guy is, you know, big shield card now. But at least I was uh, able to damage him. Now, I'm going to guess that is Mirror Force. So, I will... Set Alexandrite Dragon. Oh. 
Apparently it's not Mirror Force. Interesting. Um, okay, let's switch you back to attack mode. Uh, summon... What was his effect? Uh, I can already attack life points directly. So, let's see. 2,300... 30... Uh, 4,500, 5,300, 500 attack for each. Okay. So if my calculations are correct, this should be enough to defeat Yugi. Yep. Oh my god, finally. Ugh. Mirror Force Dragon. Look at all those cards I already have because I bought the DLC that allows me to play these duels. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. So next time, the final duel, Yugi vs. Yugi. But for now, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll speak to you guys later.